Squarespace has a dedicated section library that makes it super easy to add a new sections down your page as you build out your website. So how can we create the same system inside of Webflow? Well, we're going to do this in a couple of steps. First, we're going to go through our website that we've created and turn all of these sections down the page into symbols. Next, we're going to create a symbols library, a page where all of the symbols are stored together and we can always go back and see all the symbols that we have. And then third, we're going to create a new page so we can see just how easy it is to add in new symbols and build out new pages as we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our website and go to the pages that we've already built and turn all of the sections that we've made into their own symbols. And so we'll do that by right clicking on the section and creating the symbol and we're going to give it a category and then a specific identifier. So in this case, it's a hero, it's the top of the page, and it's quite a large hero, so we'll call it Hero Large. And we can go down the page and do this for all of the sections that we've created. We can either right click and create a symbol, or we can use the shortcut. Uh, we'll call this one Cards Solutions. Again, the category and then a specific identifier. And so we'll use the shortcut this time, Command Shift A. And this is a call to action. And it's just a banner call to action. And then we have a featured section. So let's call this feature right list. And we'll do one more. This one's feature and it's left blue. So you want to go through and do this to all of your pages or at least as many sections that you want to reuse throughout new pages that you're building. And once we've done all of that, what we're going to do is create a symbols page, a single place where all of our symbols are going to be. And so we'll create a new page. We'll call this symbol library. Make sure we spell it right. We'll put it in the admin folder we'll create that one. And what we'll do is add in a grid for our symbols and it only needs one column and we'll give it some space between the actual symbols themselves. And then we'll also give this a background color so the symbols are a little bit easier to see. And now that we've done that and we have our grid selected, in fact, we can rename this to symbol grid. And now we're gonna add in all of our symbols. So we can just go through and just click and add all of our symbols in that we've created. And now we have a list of all of the symbols that we've created in one place. And when we go back to a different page and create a new symbol, we can always add that to the very bottom of here so that it's an up-to-date record of all of the symbols that we have. Now that we have the symbol library set up, we can create a new page and drag all of these symbols in. So let's start by doing a new page. And we'll add in our navigation and footer in like we have on every page. We'll have our nav our footer, and then we'll add in a wrapper for all of our content in between. Make sure we spell it right. And now we can add the symbols in. And so we can either click on the symbol and we can search out the category that we're looking for. So hero for the start. Now we might want a featured section. And the other way we can do this to make this even easier is just hit Command E to search for it. Now again, we can look for our featured sections and it's going to tell us all of the ones that are the featured. Add in another one. Same, we'll do the call to action. And again, it's showing us all of the ones that we've named call to action. Then there was a cards. And then let's do a call to action at the bottom. And so now we've easily created a new page based on the symbols that we've already had set up. Uh, and depending on how many symbols you have, you have a lot of flexibility to make the page look exactly how you want it. And now the only other thing you need to do is unlink the symbol so that you can edit this specific instance uh, of this information without making it update through every single page. So let's unlink that, let's unlink this one. We can also use the shortcut as well, Command Shift A, unlink this one and unlink this one. And now this new page is good to go. We can edit all of the text, all of the images that we want, and it's a brand new page based on the symbols that we've already set up from other pages. And so that's the best way to create a symbol library, just like you would find in Squarespace, and make it super easy to create new pages on your website as you go.